simple analysis allows an investor to identify what the strength is of a market trend. For example, the Dow's had a hanging man and a doji and stochastics are now getting up in the overbought area. Not necessarily mean there's going to be a major change of market direction, but kind of implying that maybe there's going to be some more profit taking in this uptrend. And simple uh, technical levels allow a uh, candlestick investor to evaluate what's happening at levels that everybody else is watching. As the NASDAQ has been approaching the 50-day moving average, it's still staying be between the T-line and the 50. We're not seeing anything yet that tells us there's a reversal, yet we're not seeing anything yet telling us there's a breakout through the 50. But because of candlestick signals, we can see today's pullback was very indecisive, forming a doji day and still staying in this range. This basically tells us there might be a change of investor sentiment, but right now it's not showing any drastic change one way or the other. But very simple techniques allow for uh, when to enter more strong on the bully side. Obviously, if it comes up through the 50-day move average, or when it's time to take profits and maybe adding some sh shorts to the uh, portfolio, would be a close below the T-line, kind of indicating that the 50-day moving average was still a downtrend uh, resistance level. However, in spite of what the market may be doing, specific sectors like the cannabis area is showing good strength. The, the observation here is that there was lots of indecision and a fry pan bottom type setup in NBEV, a new age beverage. We've been long because of this breakout type situation. And it was not just a shot in the dark that that one stock in that sector would be working. The fact that we can see fry pan bottom breakouts like in CGC also put us in situations we're in the right place at the right time. TLRY also was setting up a fry pan bottom. And then we had a doji gap up. That's your best friend. So not only do you have a pattern setting up, but the strength of that breakout is being illustrated by very identifiable candlestick signals. A doji followed by a gap up is your best friend because it tells you not only the direction of the new trend, but tells you there's probably going to be a lot of strength in that trend. Now, if you observe that going on in numerous stocks in one sector, it's very logical to figure out that that sector is being bought across the board. What that allows a candlestick investor to do is to identify which ones of those stocks in that sector are acting the best, knowing that it's not just a fluke that one or two are just working by themselves. Because candlestick signals and patterns have expectations, you can get in at the ultimate, ultimate uh, entry level. For example, we know what a doji sandwich is. It's a big day with a doji. The simple doji rule tells us the price is going to move in the direction of how they open after a doji. When it starts opening positive, as an aggressive trader, you can either be buying the calls or the stock because the assumption is that this candle right here will be approximately the same magnitude as this candle right here. So you don't have to wait for confirmation. The confirmation is how they open after that doji expecting the next price move. Then to follow through, we know what the expectations are after a doji sandwich. More upside. So whether you are buying the stock or the calls right here, you can see you got in at the optimal time to make some big profits. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.